Can you introduce yourself? I'm Andrew Patterson, and I think the reason I've been asked to take part in this is because my wife is a resident at one of the care homes. So my wife is called Gay, and we've been married for nearly 40 years now. She is a delightful companion. Uh, she developed Parkinson's disease about 15 years ago, and um, sort of five or six years after that, uh, she began to show early features of dementia. She has now been in a care home for four years, and the most difficult thing to deal with is that she can't talk clearly, and uh, I don't know whether she understands what I say very clearly, uh, but it's quite obvious to me that we have a very close relationship still. She knows who I am. Um, I, I think I'm probably the most important part of her remaining life. How did lockdown affect you and your wife? When lockdown started, I found it very difficult being completely prevented from visiting her altogether. It transpires that she found that very difficult too. Um, she practically stopped eating and drinking, which didn't help her well-being in general and her blood pressure in particular. So she was prone to increasing, well, she was always prone to falls, but she was um, prone to fall, falling more frequently, sometimes with physical injuries that led during the course of last year to, I think, four attendances at a and &E either to repair injuries or to check her for significant head injuries. Communication was difficult with her because she can't talk clearly. Video calls were extremely distressing. Um, the first one I did with her, she, I watched her for half an hour lying on her bed crying. And it became apparent that life could not go on like that. You can die of COVID and you can die of other things. And it seemed to me that uh, she was heading for the, um, well, a different kind of death, really. How did essential caregiver visits come about? I kept in touch with the, uh, the management team at the care home, and eventually they agreed that uh, it was doing her more harm, my not being able to visit, than uh, allowing me to visit. So from about mid-summer, um, I was allowed on a trial basis to visit her for companionship. And uh, that was transformational, quite frankly. Um, she, she entered lockdown not knowing when I would next see her. And for that matter, I didn't know whether I would ever see her again, actually, at that point. Um, and uh, our first meeting after that, which was three or four months later, was very emotional for both of us. Um, uh, it, I mean, it was it was fantastic. It was we, we cried a lot. Can you tell me about the practicalities of your visits? Right from the outset. I was asked, first of all, whether I was prepared to have a COVID test, which of course I was pleased to have. And I was asked whether I thought it would be distressing for Gay to see me dressed up in full PPE. And I do all the hand cleanliness and everything. I don't have limits on how long I can stay. Which, by the way, I think is crucial. The prescribed visits that I was doing before lockdown a year ago were awful because First of all, I wasn't allowed into her room. It was an unfamiliar place. Um, it was a rather strange place for her too. She didn't understand that I was there to be with. So on one occasion, um, she was fighting with the carers, not wanting to be disturbed from her comfortable seat in the lounge, to go outside and meet me. And she was so cross, it took them 20 minutes, they almost came to blows. Um, and that was 20 minutes of my allotted hour. So no, I don't have any restrictions on the times or the duration of my visits. What kinds of things do you do when you visit? Most of the time we just sit 
looking at each other, or for that matter, not looking at each other, just being with each other. I tend to put um, music on the TV, and we just find that soothing. I sit in her room. Uh, I avoid contact, obviously, contact with any other residents. Um, I avoid going into the communal parts of the of the community, and we just get on. Sometimes I help her with her food. I don't get involved in dressing her or you know any of the personal care stuff. Sometimes I'll help her to the toilet or something like that. But that's about the limit of it. I have started taking her out for a short walk around the green. We walk arm in arm so that she doesn't fall over, and uh, that has made a huge difference. Even though she doesn't appear to be enjoying the walk at the time, I ask her and she says, oh, yes, I love it. Um, she is so pleased to be out doing something like that. What makes you essential to your wife's care? The most important thing that's come out of my visits is, frankly, um, peace of mind on both sides. She gets peace of mind the time around and that I still want to be with her and um, gets comfort from being with me. I get peace of mind from knowing that <clears throat> that she's still alive reasonably well and that she's comfortable in the environment where she's living. What has the impact been of being able to be an essential caregiver? The impact was simply huge. We were able to hug and hold each other. And her condition, uh, I mean, I discovered she'd lost half a stone in weight in the first few months because of not eating. I'm happy to say she's now regained that weight. She has a much more balanced outlook on life. How do you think Gay would be now if you hadn't been able to have these visits? I dread to think um, if, if we hadn't had, if I hadn't been allowed to visit, I think she would have gone on losing weight. I, I'd be surprised if she's still alive now, quite frankly. I don't know what state I would have been in either, to be perfectly frank with you. Um, I, I did not know which way to turn when I couldn't see her. What would you like to say to care homes about the importance of providing essential caregiver visits? I've already said quite a lot about how important I think it is not only to see the relatives, but to have some sort of physical contact with them. Touch is such an important element of communication that can't be done on the telephone any more than it can be done through a perspex screen.